They took everything from me. Then they put me in this hole. So I could sit and think all day long about what I'd lost. My freedom, my wife, even my pride. It was hard to know which one I missed the most. Sometimes when I'm locked up, I swore I heard the man with the plane coming back to get me. But none of it was real. It was just my head going to mush. But then, one day, I had a visitor. And that's when everything changed. He said his name was Calypso. He ran some kind of weird contest, and he was looking for people like me to be a part of it. He told me if I won, I could have the one thing my heart desired. I may be no rocket scientist, but I know opportunity when I see it. That pilot had taken a piece of my life and twisted it all around. How could I refuse the chance for revenge? When I passed out in my truck, I dreamed about the farm. I guess I must have been thinking back to the day when everything went wrong. I remember it so well. We was two weeks from harvest. I was checking out the crop when I heard this noise up in the air. There were no dust and schedule that afternoon. I hollered for the guy to stop, but it just kept coming. I didn't know what was happening at first. I couldn't breathe, and my heart was beating so fast, thank the Lord, I passed out real quick. I thought I was dead. I must have been out for hours, and when I woke up, well, my God, what had happened to me? My first thought was to get home to Annie. She was real smart. She'd figure out what to do. But when I got there, I guess she'd already figured out something else. I heard them laughing, talking about how they'd go the next week try to collect the life insurance. Everything hurt. My face, my mind, my heart. I remember grabbing for the closest thing I could find. I just lost it. I'd hunt that pilot down sooner or later. But for now, it was strictly between me and Anne. I've been hitting Annie's body for well over an hour. You couldn't even tell who she was no more. There's a man out there who took my wife and turned me into a freak. When I win this contest, he's gonna pay for what he done. I'd won the contest, and now it was my turn to collect. I went to see Calypso, and just as promised, he delivered the goods. I knew right from the start, he'd get me the revenge I was craving. When we went back to the farm, Calypso said he had a little surprise for me. Somehow he'd done it. He'd found that bastard who made me kill Annie. Son of a bitch even brought his plane with him. Calypso said all I had to do to get my prize was step aboard. It was a one-way ticket to my heart's desire. 
That pilot had taken everything from me. It was right time he learned how it felt. It may have been only the second time I killed someone, but it felt so damn good. I think I was beginning to see my true calling. So I done gave up farming and moved into the city. In a place like that, well, who knows what kind of trouble an old redneck like me could get into.